this is a pretty personal sharing so I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable this week two strangers contacted me one via text message so I don't know how they got my phone number and one via Instagram DM and both people said some pretty mean things to me I'm very new to sharing any kind of content at all let alone very personal content um, so I was quite shocked by it but it made me really deeply feel for people who are influencers and celebrities that, that must get this kind of thing all the time and I'm, I'm not making this video to complain about it but as always I want to share my personal experience through the lens of trauma you know what I feel as a, as a person as a human and also what I noticed as a practitioner and someone who works with trauma recovery so in both these instances I had a trauma response um, and it took me a good few days to get clear so I could share the way I am now so the first thing that happened to me was I got a text message and the person wrote something along the lines of you may be the best at what you do for work but you are used goods and no man will want to dip their fries in your sauce and I got this really mean text message between treating trauma clients at the clinic and I just froze my body went ice cold and then I felt this tingling sensation all the way up me and I felt like I needed to cry but I couldn't and I just felt confused and also hyper vigilant at once so actually I think I went into a co-activation and I what I really needed was to cry and probably also a hug but that wasn't available for me um, and I also noticed my mind starting to go what did I do to elicit this who have I hurt what have I done wrong and this in itself is such a a traumatized psychological pattern so someone has done something mean um, and hurtful and and my instinct will be to think I've done something wrong and I, and I noticed this passion is really common among people that have experienced childhood abuse because when we're children when a parent or a caregiver harms us you know existentially we can't fathom that our parents are bad people they're, they're meant to love us so when something bad is done to us we we just inherently know well I must be bad and as I responded to this instance incident of someone you know attacking me with words via a text message which is not at all the same as as being abused as a child that psychological response rose in me so I started to question well I must be at fault something is wrong with me to cause this and I just thought that was really interesting I was able to catch myself and and reframe that hey this person is mean and it's nothing to do with me uh, but it took me time and I guess I wanted to share that in, in the hope or possibility that anyone else out there has the same experience or the same patterns that when they're met with words that are maybe not so nice that there's this immediate shift to well something must be wrong with me but actually no there's something wrong with the way that person is communicating with you or, or treating you so so that was one the other thing that occurred was this DM that I got on Instagram and they basically I mean I think it's a fake account but they just replied to one of my recent stories with something like I'm watching you you're putting on weight and again I I froze I almost had this <gasps> in my system and again I went really hyper vigilant like it's as if is somebody watching me what's going on am I, am I in danger and I guess to share a little more deeply I don't think I have shared this publicly yet but I suffered from anorexia for many years um, and I was so controlling about what I put in my body and I hated my body and I worried what people thought of it all the time now I'm in a space where actually I love my body for the first time in my life um, but I haven't been that way for very long it took me so much work to get there 
So this just felt like a and when that happened, I totally snapped into a trauma response. And you know what? I've put on three kilos in the last few months through this crazy COVID time, working and, and doing everything that I'm doing, looking after my kids. I've been exercising less. So there was a truth in what they said, but I hadn't felt bad about it. And I guess the mean comment made me feel so bad I started to get all this buzzing energy and I really thought I can't go out for dinner I was meant to go out for dinner with someone close to me and I was I was literally freaking out and I felt that fragmentation in my mind so there was part of me that was like you can't go out you can't eat dinner you're putting on weight look people are noticing and there was another part going come on Natalia you're beautiful have a nice life go and have dinner I went to dinner but in all honesty, I did not order probably what I would have liked. I ordered something very healthy when I probably would have really loved fries and, you know, two glasses of wine. I managed what I put into my body, which is actually so sad because it took me a very, 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 very long time to not do that. Um, and of course, the next day I'm eating normally and I'm not worried about it at all, but it was while I was in that trigger um, I, I don't even really know how I came out of it. I think I have enough bandwidth and capacity now to notice when I'm fragmenting and to notice when I'm moving from a triggered place uh, and to slowly come out of it. And they weren't so severe that I needed to have a breakdown. But I guess I just wanted to share because I bet this happens all the time. And I don't know, maybe my sharing supports somebody else that's always my hope anyway that's my my take on on what's happening in terms of well me um, I guess if I look through the practitioner lens I just see how easy it is for someone to go in a, into a triggered state and stay there and, and move from there and it makes me more and more aware and certain that working with our suppressed fragments or the fragments of our psyche that hijack our experience are so important um, and I think it's something I'll always be tuning into in myself and in my clients because when we're split when we're fragmented like that and when a traumatized part of ourself is leading our experience you know we can't make good healthy decisions and we can't step forward with cohesion so had I stayed in either of those sort of fragmented hijacks from the first incident I would have just been completely worried that I'm doing something wrong and that I'm bad all the time and I've lived in that space before and, and with the second one I would have started to completely obsess about my weight and my food and and being watched so yeah, maybe not such a clear video today, but pretty raw and authentic, I hope. I'd love to know if you've had an experience like this or if you identify or resonate, please comment, please message. Bye.